So 10 or so years ago, when we discovered the spokesperson for Subway, Jared Fogle, the guy they centered their advertising campaign, when we discovered he was involved in pedophilia and was involved in a pedophile ring, my mother was like, wow, even Jared Fogle is a pedophile now? And I get that his image that we see on the TV is that of a goody two-shoes, that of a family man, that of a righteous person. But, you know, the, the, the person that Subway advertises, you know, I mean, why, why can't he be a pedophile, you know? I, I mean... I mean, your moral compass shouldn't be the Subway guy who lost 200 pounds on Subway, you know? I mean, I, I get what, it's not, it's not, I mean, it's, it's not like it's the Pope or some religious figure in hell. Even a lot of people in the church are, are you know, are, are, you know, commit pedophilia. You know, it, it's like if we found out John Cena was involved in pedophilia. I mean, yes, the guy's a goody two-shoes. Yes, the guy does a lot of charity work. Yes, the guy does a lot of good things. But, you know, like, you know, I could believe it, but it could just be a lot. I mean, like, why Why not, you know? I mean, it's not like, it's like, wow, even John Cena is a pedophile now? I mean, like, I mean, he seems like he's a good guy. He seems like he wouldn't do that, but I don't know him personally. I don't know him in real life. Why, I mean, it would be shocking, like, Chris Benoit committing the double murder-suicide. He was well-respected in the wrestling world. Everybody raved about him. Everybody was saying what a talent he was. And when the double murder-suicide happened, everybody was shocked. Nobody saw it coming. At least fans didn't. And we all thought it was carbon monoxide initially or something like that. But, um... Yeah, I mean, people... I mean, I mean, I guess the point is when my mom's like, Wow, even Jared Fogle is a pedophile? Mom, I mean... Who, who is Jared Fogle? He's just the subway guy, you know? I mean, it's not like, it's not like he, he's, he's divinely sent from the heavens and he has a halo over his head and he's the righteous one. I mean, I mean, I, I believe it, you know? I mean, it's not like, it's, I mean, I, I, I mean, somebody says like, it would be like, I mean, I, I guess, I guess it's more believable if somebody like Charlie Sheen was a pedophile, not to say he is, but somebody with a bad, or Pete Davidson, somebody with a bad boy image, you know? You know, Jared Fogle's image was that of a family man in a goody two-shoes, where if Charlie Sheen or Pete Davidson, but at least those guys are more real, you know?